Your hands up! Your hands up! Oh my God, please don't shoot me! Stay back. Show me your hands. Put your hands up. Come here. 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 Now here I am, got this guy on television that's... Uh... Uh, he just happens to be our captain. Maybe that'll come out eventually, like, that information of why we decided to do that route. I uh, just, I can't, I can't share that with you at this point in time. I need to not be feeling like if I do have an intruder that I better not have guns anywhere because you know, of course, I'm supposed to protect my home and now I don't know if it's going to be police or not. You know, I wanted to protect my home from burglars and from rats and stuff and not from p my friends, the police. Yeah. And now I don't know which is which because the way that went down, it sounded so much like the other. I, I was, my biggest fear is that I might have accidentally done something to one of you guys and you guys returned it and there's no way I'd have won that. And I never thought I had a reason to worry about police. Uh, the chief prosecutor, Jeremy Mole, uh, I've had conversation with him and uh, our chief deputy, Scotty Mables, uh, and who's my boss, and they both told me that we are to release the property. Whatever we took from you goes back to you. Yeah. Our attention as well. Right. So I'm, 
I've been tied up in other ones like that, but I, again, I'm certainly going to work uh, to make sure that you get back the items that uh, were seized and uh, to do whatever I can that way okay. to assist you. Well, that's why I'm calling you, sir, and I, and I really appreciate you're working with me the way you are. It's been difficult, you know. Well, that's, that's no problem. Uh, Again, you know, uh, you know, we 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 want to do the right thing. Well, that's what that's what we're interested in doing, and uh, I'm going to do my very best to make sure that that gets done. So, you know, this is a theft. He's he's keeping uh, the money from uh, the, or keeping the property from. Uh, this past more, he's you know he's this is a theft, and I'm like, well, you know, so I had, my, was. I had my suspicions from the get go. So well, I appreciate if you know I appreciate that there's people like you still there because you know somebody somewhere let that whole you know process that it takes for having multiple opinions you know it, it, it's not something that should just be determined by somebody that cited it needs to be passed through different minds with different thoughts and different aspects need to be paid attention to so that sure. you know this kind of stuff doesn't happen to honest people speak with Jeremy Mull. Are you all with the council? With the council? Yeah. No, we're going to be attending a council meeting. <laughs> okay. But no, we need to speak with him for reasons of legal matters. Oh, okay. Um, and what's your name? My name is Chris. Chris. Okay, hold on. Okay, like I said, all I can really do right now is give you his email. Well, here's the thing. <clears throat> we were sent here by two different police agencies okay. over a legal matter that is very time sensitive. Um, I mean, I don't want to have to take it to another lawsuit. So what I'm trying to do is satisfy this situation the best way we can. Because he is elected prosecutor, he does normally just take appointments. He's very, very, very We're fine good. with an appointment as long as it's within a timely matter because... He sets his own appointments, but I can tell you that he will get back in touch with you. You can say that, but I've been trying to get a hold of him for two years. So I can tell you that he doesn't always do that. Well, that's... That's my experience. I've been here for 18 years. He probably treats you a lot differently than he treats us. <laughs> Thanks. All right, y'all doing all right? Yep, good. doing good. How are you? All right, doing great. Thank you. <laughs> you don't really care much for the camera, do you? Well, you look great. You, you are trespassing this building. You're not allowed back in here. If you come back, you'll be arrested. You cannot trespass me from this property. You're trespassing this building. Put the prosecutor's office. You need to leave. What is the criminal charge? You are trespassing. You need but to leave. Why? What are we leave. Doing wrong? You cannot trespass us from this property. You need to leave. No, we're making an appointment for, we're conducting legal business. You can call on the phone and do that. You need to leave. That's right what now. I was getting ready to do is email like I was okay. told. Well, you can go outside and do it. Why are you yelling at us? I'm not yelling at you. De-escalate, You're refusing sir. to leave. That's right, because I didn't break any laws. Make a show out of 907. I have an appointment to make. I was just told to. You can't tell someone to do something in an office like this and then turn around and try to get them in Major trouble for it. Can you send a couple officers up the first floor at front desk? You guys need to learn the law. Okay. I'm doing what the prosecutor said to do. Okay? The prosecutor doesn't get to say to do that. So the prosecutor doesn't know the law. I need some officers up on the first floor. That's terrible that the Clark County prosecutor does not know the law. We're, we're actually following the law. What we're doing is making a, an appointment with Jeremy Moult. We're trying to make an appointment. For a lock in. Don't put your hands on I'm not. I'm just pointing just you towards the direction, yeah, sir. You've got to go the right direction, sir. But you cannot trespass us from this building. We pay the taxes yes. on this yes, building. Can. On. Sir, can you identify, please? I will. Let's go. Can we talk about it? I have constitutional rights. Let's go. Not in the, court, the courthouse. You've got to go. Yeah. Let's go. This is the courthouse. You guys are violating the Constitution. Didn't you take an oath to it? 
Let's go. Sir, please don't put your hands. Don't put your come hands on, on me, on, guys. guys. You need to get now, your hands off me. Sarah, you're violent. Get, get back and video nobody this. Hurt well, what you're doing is unconstitutional and illegal. You can't do this. You don't need to pull it. Hey, stop pushing. I'm not pushing. I'm, I'm walking. Am I not? Home, I'll sir. stop walking if you want me to. I'll escort you right out here. Yeah. Here's what we're gonna do. Okay. Clark County is unconstitutional. What they're doing is following the orders of their prosecutor, who is illegal. Introduced to you, Thomas Clay. Thomas is a very well-known Kentucky attorney for knowing and being very much aware of the retaliation that comes from the Kentucky State Police, particularly Post Four which is what this case is all about. See, I was at Post 4 to make a complaint on an officer by the name of Adam Sandage, who was one of the officers that partook in the beating of a young man who was not fighting or resisting at the time. So we were at Kentucky State Police Post 4. I was with the father of the man who was severely beaten by the police for no apparent reason, and it was under an FBI investigation. FBI Louisville says it is reviewing the video and said it takes hundreds of civil rights cases each year, and it is a responsibility that is taken seriously. When I spoke with the federal investigators, they had told me that nobody had put in a formal complaint on Officer Sandage, so I had gone to the state police post with Joe Tyler, the father, to make sure that that piece of paper would exist for the federal investigators, and this is what happened. There you are. Hey, Did he here. want to, he's got our complaints there. Oh, there you are. I'm Chris. John. I speak to John. Well, you mind turning around, put your hands behind back. You have an active warrant. For what? From 1999, possession of marijuana. Uh, you're full of shit. No, I'm not. No. Yeah, you turn are. Around. I have never had marijuana. Turn around, put your hands behind your back. All right. And the truth is, that never happened. I was never cited. I have never had any drugs or alcohol related incidents involving police of any sort. So, this whole entire case from 1998, not 99, like John Goldsboro, the arresting officer, said, was concocted out of thin blue air. And for an entire year now, I have been defending myself and proving my innocence over a case that never truly existed for me. One of the things we sort of thought maybe was, okay, well, this is a case of mistaken identity because they had my driver's license number, my social security number, my date of birth, all things they could have gotten by running my license plate tags, which were outside in the public parking lot. But all of the rest of the file that would actually prove a person's guilt, like mug shots or the video of the court or any of the other documents in the entire record that would have been substantial enough to say, this is the person, they conveniently had destroyed on purpose, and then they only kept the parts of the file that had my information on it. It would easily could have been done by someone who just had a license in their possession at the time that they were encountered by an officer. But there's way more to that. The address that they said the incident occurred, the arrest, was never in existence in any time in history. And also... They were saying that they got a call for a child welfare incident involving the Department of Child Services, but that never happened either. I didn't even have any kids, nor was I responsible for anybody's kids, and the only person I knew that had a kid, we ran a check through the government system to ensure that no calls had ever been done for a child welfare check for the person I dated back in 1998, myself, or that person's child in both name spellings because that's right they didn't even have my name they had another name spelling which was three out of six letters different than mine Hello. what's up fellas how are we doing? How are we doing pretty good i gotta show you a picture of a person she's going to there's a person that has been stalking and harassing us you heard that right, as if it wasn't already bad enough that we're dealing with corrupt officers who are trying to do cover-ups. We're also dealing with a few really weird people who just back the blue all the way to the point of literally harassing our family 
over this event being published. That's not all either. The prosecutors have gotten so desperate in this case that I believe that they have even fabricated records in my real case documents from back in that time era just so that they could put a false signature because that's all the prosecutor really had to use was to suggest that they had matching signatures from the fake case that they're bringing to this court and in another case which actually existed but the document in the other case that actually existed couldn't have existed. It was a bond form saying that I bonded out of a jail in 1999, but I did not bond out of the jail in 1999. I stayed in the jail until the final hearing in which I saw the judge and then was released. So where did that record come from? I'm not real sure. Somebody probably slipped that in there. I still don't know. But what I do know is, is the reaction that I got when I tried to get a copy of that record. Watch this. This is it. This is where I go. Hello, how are you today? All right, got a bunch of business to do with you. Okay. Um, I am Chris Ryder. I've called here several times. Okay. And I have court tomorrow, and they're trying to use records from here, from a 1999 case that was me here in 1999 in which I went to jail here. Okay. Um, so I've gotten some of those records, some of your all's records, mm -hmm. and we need to A, do some comparing what I've got to what you've got. Okay. And B, I've got a lot of questions about what's here. Okay. So I might be a few minutes and I don't mean to okay. give you any trouble, but that's, I gotta do this. Okay. So can you pull my original file that you have so that we can compare what I have to what you have. And at this point, one thing that we already did know for sure was that not the entire record had been sent to my attorney at the time, which was not Thomas Clay. It was another attorney who was actually in favor of me doing a plea bargain. But the whole record had not been sent, just a few pages. So I only had a few pages and I wanted the entire record. I wanted a copy of everything. And they had been avoiding giving it to me for weeks at this point. It was a 99 file. 99, and then it's Christopher Ryder, R-E-I-T-E-R. According to this, it's saying that I bonded out the day of the arrest. And that did not happen. And it certainly wasn't long since the point in which I mentioned the specific document in question that was in Meade County, Kentucky's file before this happened. Ellen, Ellen is on her way to speak with you. Oh, thank you. So if you just want to wait a little while, so you, 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 you need to be completely done. Yeah. What? Yeah. She'll, she'll Excuse in. me? She'll come in and talk to you. What did you just tell her that for? She's being very helpful. You don't tell people to leave. Don't leave. Uh, you've been great. What's wrong with you? Who is that? What's her name? I don't have to say business. That woman just told her to stop helping me. Wait for our car to get. Yeah, but why did you tell her that? She needs to walk away. No, she does not need to walk away. Who are you? Who are you? Are you? Yes, it is my business. What? Who are you? And it was later learned that this woman must have already had pressed an emergency button calling Chief Deputy Whited of the Meade County Sheriff's Department to come down the hallway, certainly just to attack us, because this is what happened. Oh, look, we got company. How you doing, sir? Good, how are you? Excuse me. Doing very well, thank you. You your way there. How y'all doing? Doing good, how are you? Uh, I've been better. I've been treated better, too. What can we help you with? Um, well, it was at the clerk's office that needs to help me with this stuff. Um, I think they're the ones that called you because some woman just came up and told my clerk to not help me anymore with my record, the business I'm here for. Okay. That's what just happened. So I told her I want to know who she is. We would like to and know who she is so we can follow up on the complaint. Yes, absolutely. Okay. So the reason, probably the reason why they don't want to help you is because y'all got cameras all over there. Well, that's something. Hey, look, man, there's one right there. See it? We record all of our business. And I can, and that's public. And that's how we do that. It's by no, recording everything. Okay. Here. okay. So, Sir, I got court. Right, thank you. What's, uh, what are y'all doing with him? Excuse me. 
they're making copies of our documents. The legal, I think, is making some copies for him, but we have the right to refuse to be recorded. There's an order from Judge Butler. There's no order from a judge saying I can't record? We're allowed to record our Sir, what's your name? I'm sorry. I'm Chief Deputy Wadi. Nice to meet you, sir. Office. Nice to meet you. But if you start making them feel uncomfortable and stuff, I can tell you to leave. Well, hold on, sir. And Wait, if you refuse to leave, I'll arrest you for disorderly okay. conduct. You already threatened his arrest? Oh, no, I'm not threatening you. Trust me. Well, why did you just say that? It's not a threat. Let I don't me, make threats. Let me go. Get, what is that? You get promise? your copies? And then no, I don't have, no, I need more than copies. I'm waiting on Ellen. Let them tell you the you truth. Get your copies and y'all can go. I'm not going anywhere. Oh, yes, y'all. Oh, no, I won't. One way or another. I right, will not. not I'm not leaving until I get my record. Our business, sir. You get your copies. Who are you again? You want. I'm Chief Deputy Wadi with Chief the Sheriff's Office. Chief Deputy. And you don't yes. know to, to treat the public Trust better me, than this? Not. What are you doing this for? This is my record. I got court tomorrow. You get your copies. You won't. I will. You get your copies. I don't just need copies. Room. If you knew what was going You're on. You're not going to keep these ladies up I'm not keeping them up there doing nothing except for their job. You, I can't you don't know, do you know I do job? know their job, yes. This you, is what, what I'm sitting for job? from Frankfurt. What is the job of the circuit court clerk? To go over these records with me. Oh, it to is. explain them. To explain them to she you? Yes, yes. She handles documents. Show me that. She makes copies. She look up. She took the open records access for him. Show me that. Or just tell him the statute. You look it up. Show me that. You look it up. No, you Kentucky statute to open records. Tell him, me. tell him the number. Show me. You know her job open records. better I than I do. Show me. KRS I know this, know this is the clerk's office, and these are clerk's records, and this has questionable what is her job? This has questionable stuff. What is her job? To tell me what this is about. You all want answers from everybody else, but you don't want to give answers. What are you talking what about? Is the How job is of the it our court job court? to tell what are you, you talking what about? Job is. You said did you come you in here to escalate the situation? Well, I'm not escalating nothing. The hell you are. You, you know what you ought to do? You ought to go on and get God. dismissed. Just you get on out of here. Go away. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, let's just go oh. to jail then for this For what? <laughs> Excuse me, Nye? Hold up. Get your hands off of him. That's my record. Get your hands off of him. Why are you shaking so bad, bro? Don't you touch me. Don't if you life. touch me, you're going to be in a pickle. Do not touch me. <laughs> oh, ha, ha. I wouldn't laugh. Don't touch that, me. Hey, that. You just messed my, up. My stuff. You, you want to go, go hey. I, I would not do that if I were you. What are you going to do? Don't fucking really? get oh, whoa, whoa, the fuck whoa. off me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is unnecessary. You want to get your... You want to get... I'm going to leave it up to you to believe whether or not this was all part of the cover-up, but for a couple of people who have been going out trying to prove that these police officers often commit misconduct, this certainly doesn't help their case. Chase, hey, put your hands yeah. behind your back. Get off of her. Get off. My hands are behind my Get back, you nut job. Get off of me. Get him, One thing is for sure is that one way or another, they did manage to succeed to keep me from getting my records. So the next day at court, I had to ask for another time extension. Was that planned? I think so. We got to get the records request finished from my 1999 case in Big County that we didn't get to finish. So we're we're finally getting to do that. We got just enough time. Um, and then uh, most of you might already know, but on Meade County's page, they did another, the sheriff made another statement um, in response to us pressing charges against them yesterday. And the uh, prosecutor recused. So it's very interesting. Our records requesting for the correctional facility from 1999. And of course, we need the ones from now. Here you go, Hey, thank you, buddy. And I was reading these because I'm actually the record custodian of oh, the facility. Oh, you are? So there's your paperwork. Uh, I just want to firmly trespass you all from the bill. You cannot record this. I just feel like there's a private conversation going on. I and and without understand. the consent of these people, so I'm asking you nicely right now to leave. Have a great day. And you can fix the air conditioner. JJ. All right, so. JJ, JJ just criminally trespassed us from uh, the corrections facility. So we are at the uh, Meade County Sheriff's Department after our arrest the other day. Um, they told us to come in and get our court records that we were originally doing, um, which we don't know if it's a setup or what, but we're also trying to get our stuff back. Um, Miss Helen said that she would have all my stuff prepared for me. Oh, did you already know I was here? Yep, I already knew you were here. Well, are you watching the cameras for me? Watching the 
I actually was in another office and saw y'all coming up. <laughs> oh, you are Ellen. You are yes, Ellen. Ellen. Yeah. Nice to meet you, Ellen. I appreciate that. Uh, thank you for the help. I mean, I don't know why things went the way they did the other day. Um, I, can I make a complaint with you on your staff? Yes, ma'am. Uh, I'd like it in writing. Well, I'd like for you to put it in writing and file it so that it's you known can later. I'll, put I'll send you an email follow-up, but I'll tell you in person right now. Um, that girl right there, her, she was amazing. She was doing such a phenomenal job. She was doing everything we needed to do. Everything was great. Then another woman, which she could name for you, came up to her and said, stop helping him get away from the window. We were standing right here. I was not... This is way more invasive than it was the other day. I had a tripod sitting here, out of the way with the camera, just like that. That was it. Okay. She said, well, you're not allowed to record in here to the sheriff, talk about us, okay? He said, if we're making things uncomfortable for the women, that he's gonna arrest me. And I said, sir, I don't know how I'm supposed to make them comfortable or uncomfortable. I'm just trying to get my copy of my record, which she was doing at the time. She was making me copies of this, which I was, really was all I needed, besides what you and I were doing in email. So the lady that, that rudely came up and, and pushed her, physically pushed that woman back, like physically put her hand on her and pushed her back from the window. That's not what I saw. That is what happened. Yeah. Did you see it on the camera? I saw it on your own live stream. No, we didn't have that on the live stream. I wasn't in here at that time, ma'am. You might be able to see it on that camera. I Did stepped out to... I stepped out res to respect the gentleman's privacy that was here, so you now, wouldn't. I have footage, but I'm going to wait until court to produce it because they didn't realize when they stole my devices that it all goes to the cloud. So I got it all for you. Okay, good. I'd like to see that. Good. Me too. I, I would like everyone to see it. So what I'm getting at is, as your employee, is her name Rhonda by any chance? No. Okay, so it wasn't Rhonda. Well, whoever she is, which I would like for you to identify her, you can ask that sweet young lady right there, whoever it was. That person was way out of line, totally disorderly, and then refused to identify when we said, just as calmly as I am right now. And I've gotten from legal that uh, my employees do not have to identify their names. Okay, well, how am I supposed to make a complaint? Do you know who she was? I know who she, who you're talking about. Oh, you do? Okay, well, that's the reason for identifying. That's why you're wearing your name badge. So why do you wear a name Everybody badge? Everybody knows my, actually, this badge is so I can get in and out my door. Okay, but why does it have your identification, I think? And mm -hmm. I think you do have well, to have it. I, I asked it's okay. Up, it's a, I'm not going to argue. Didn't have to give their Ellen, I'm not here to argue. I'm just here to tell you that it's per your duty and the responsibility to get control of your staff. And your staff... She was great. The other one was completely out of line. They felt threatened. So they that, can feel... That, a little, that's all I'm going to say right now, okay? That's so all you're you going to say? You can... I'm listening to your complaint and I'll... Well, no, you have to take my complaint. You have to accept it. So you, I'm here to do agreements. You to give it to me. I will, <laughs> yes. But I also want to give it to you verbally here right now on record. Okay. All right. So she said to her, to your other staff member, physically pushed her, which is a big no-no, said then said, do not give him anything. Do not talk to him. So I said, ma'am, will you please identify so that I could do a proper grievance on you? She said, I'm not telling you who I am. I don't have to. I said, okay, well, I need to know because I'm going to tell your boss. That's what I said. So next thing I know, um, how did the next part go? She said, she said, you, uh, the sheriff walked in. So he walks in and he comes right inside your door and he says, uh, if you're bothering these ladies, I'm going to arrest you. That's what he said. And then your clerk lady that you know who she is and I don't, what she said to him was, is there's a judge order saying that we can't record and they can refuse to accept anything from us or do business with us if we're recording. And I said, man, that's not true. Where's the court order? Show it to me. Our district judge thought there was at the time. At the, the time. So your two, district judge is who? Our other two judge, our other two counties have that order. Okay. But and who's your district judge? We're in a mixed-use facility, and the other two counties aren't. They're in judicial buildings. So I can record my legal business in here, correct? Yes. Okay, and who was the judge that thought that at the time? It was Judge Brack, Butler. Mr. Butler? Okay, that's good to know. Um, so he Mr. Butler it, made... He was just mistaken because he thought... 
they had to call for the only understand yeah. accidents happen. So Mr. Butler is responsible for that accident. So he told the clerks then, is that what you're saying, to kick me he out? Thought, no, he didn't tell them to kick you out. Okay. Then he just thought there was an order saying there was a, a order. He thought there was an order about videoing. So that's really what they were reporting to the sheriff's deputy. Am I right? No, they were reporting to the sheriff's deputy. They felt threatened. Oh, but they didn't say that. What they said was, is that he's not supposed to be recording in here. and We have a right to tell him to leave. Because of recording, so that is what they reported. I got that on video, but that's what he said. So if you're bothering these ladies, I'm gonna arrest you. You're bothering these ladies? That's threatening. Am I bothering you? No. Am I threatening you? No. This is what I was doing. We were conducting business. Look, I'll argue that in court, but I'm telling you, Miss Ellen, your responsibility is. I only had eight pages. Well, so there you go. I needed the copies. copies from the KSP about the firearm. It doesn't matter. I needed all of it, and I didn't have it. I only had eight pages. You have a lot more here. Well, this is additional. We so, but that's today. neither here nor there. She was making copies. Am I back? That's what she was doing. I told her I'd pay for them. started accusing her of not, of not uh, doing things and making sure she didn't Good. get out of your sight. Thank I you did guys. say I want to make sure she stays on my side. What's wrong with that? Well, what would happen if that copier didn't work? I would have let her copy it somewhere else. What, what do you mean? It's you not my said job. That on camera. Uh, what did I say? That don't let her out of my sight. Get that. No, her sight. The Me, phone. so that I could record for our well, documentation. Your is in another room. What okay, well, I, all I was trying to do, Ellen, is keep an eye on my documents. Yeah, I mean, sometimes things like that happen, and sometimes we don't get to keep an eye. And then, if that copier was down, and she had to go in the back. I guess she would have told me she would go in the back and, then, and make the other copy, and I would have said, well, I guess then that's we all I could do. I mean, what, we can what if all day. We can what if all day, every day, but what if isn't what happened. And uh, what we're doing is we're getting the camera footage from the back seat of that pig car where I got tortured. So we're here for that. And I got all my paperwork here. They can't deny that I'm doing a official record now. Hey, how you doing? Good. Got a new guy. I'm Chris. Morris. Morris, I'm nice to meet you. Fair. What's your... Oh, you're a lieutenant? Mm -hmm. yes, sir. All right, sir. So I uh, had a little uh, incident here the other day. You probably heard of. Yeah, I'm aware of. All I'm right. supposed to be dropping off some uh, open records forms. I'm not going to drop any forms off because the forms they gave me ultimately would have been different for this, what, what I need now. What have you got? Plenty of my stuff. I uh, just nothing so what for are you, you needing now? Well, I want to get the incident report. I want to see everything. Well, that... you don't get the reports here. you got to fill out the form. And it goes to well, Frank then I guess I'm going to need the right form for, for now. I think they gave it to you the other day, correct? No, the one they gave me, buddy, was for like um, okay. Hold on a different types of records. You know what I'm saying? So it would have been. Open records form. Well, no, it's not all I need. Before you go, you might want to collect everything I do need. So oh, yeah. any kind of report or written anything. Any of that, we don't give here. It's got to come from Franklin. From the moment here, okay? From what? So your officer, Gold, Gold, what is his name? Goldsboro, John? Whatever he wrote up about affecting that arrest. Which is still open records, and you have to. And y'all can't make a copy of it for me? Here. No, sir. It's not our policy. Well, it's, it is the law, so why isn't it the policy? The law, yeah. Kentucky it's State the law open, record you have open records, but you have to go through our open records department. I can do that know. online, right? You can. And, so. Or I can hand it to you, and you can put it in, and then it goes to Frankfurt, comes right back to you. It's internet, it's high speed. No, actually, it goes back to you. You put your address, that's where it goes. Well, it has to come to you eventually because you have to affect the records. No, our open records does all that. They redact everything. I understand. Redact it and give it to you. But I can get it here by having one of you guys do it. No, Just, sir. It doesn't work that way. It does work that way. No, but sir. anyway, so you're saying I'm, you're going to make me go to Frankfurt for a case I got coming up on Monday. You don't I'm have to go to you. Frankfurt. You can do it online or I can print Maybe do it through the process to make it where it's coming from Frankfurt. But I have a no, court no. on Monday. It's Friday. Well, you know I mean, what I mean? So I was hoping you could I assist think me. I told that before, several times. Told what? That you have to go through the firm. We were talking about different records. It's still any records. It's not all the same. Record. So the other thing I want is the camera footage from the back seat of that police car. Again, that'd be the same thing. So you're not going to assist me at all? I Are you refusing to assist me? I can't on that me? because I'm telling you, the open records one takes care of that. So what you're saying is, is that this agency right here, Post 4 in Kentucky. We don't do yeah, it. Just let me, just let me finish my statement. Go ahead. At this post right here in this building, this agency, Post 4 in Kentucky, your guys' policy here is keeping you from being able to assist me with the records process that... No, we are assisting you. That's not assisting me. Tell me to go somewhere else and assist We're telling you the process of getting the records. 
I know the process, but I'm saying you won't help me because it's against your policy to help me. I'm telling you that's our process. I can't I can't go against our process. You're telling me it's a policy process or Sir, let me let me get the form story what you need. I think they gave it to you the other day anyway, right? Not the same ones. The open record. Yeah, the form they gave me would be for like media. All right, I'll trade you. Forms. I think he's already been given these once before. Hang on a second. Because you was asking for multiple, so. All right, well, look here, buddy. You gave me the wrong thing again. I'm going to show you clerk issue. That's the open records report. Let me talk. And then you. So here's the thing we're going to look at. Clerk list you on them. Bring to your attention. You're a supervisor, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Why don't you look at the form right quick while I'm we're through it. First of all, it says to inspect, which I think that might be part of the problem. Now, when you get down to the second portion of the contract here, what you're seeing is you have to be a Kentucky resident to use this. We already found out about that as well. Okay. They said you did not. Right, I called, but it's still on the form, so it it's is, outdated. But I called specifically, and they said that you did not. Right, I agree with that. I know you don't okay. have to. Well, but then what's the issue? It's still on this form. It doesn't matter. It is an issue. It doesn't matter. If you're saying it's wrong, then it needs to be changed. I don't have that power to change. No, but I mean, who, somebody does, and so you're in the supervisor. If you don't the so. form, you can do it online. It's either or. That's, I'm just yeah, but online, the verbiage is the same, too. That's so, how you're going to get through the open records. If that's what you want, that's how you I do, but I don't want them giving me an excuse to deny it. They won't deny it. Because I already called and, and asked about that specifically. I just because you've called and asked don't mean they won't deny it. Somebody else might make open the mistake of reading it. That, um, you know what I mean? Open records is actually the one that said, no, you didn't have to be. Well, this guy's telling you guys at, at uh, do you want where were we at? Jefferson County. Do you want these? Yeah, we'll take them. Uh, no, don't leave. I've got more to talk to you about. You're not done doing business with me, sir. Hey, listen. I am done. No, you're not. You're telling me that people can't come here for an incident report? Where are you going, man? Come on, you're not done. I need service. Piece of shit. We are in the parking lot at the uh, district courthouse here in E-Town, Elizabethtown, Kentucky, which is for Hardin County. This is where my court is on Monday. And today is Friday. What time is it, buddy? Probably about it was 158. One, oh, two o'clock. So, all right, hang in there. Hardin County Detention Center. I'm sorry. Are you Christopher Ritter? It's it's Ryder. But what do you have in spelling on that? R e i t t e r. Is that correct? R e i t t r. No, R e i t e r. That is correct. Okay. Yep, because they had my spelling wrong before, so I wanted to make sure you, I wanted to see which way you had it. Are you taping me? Yeah, I'm videoing this, yes. Taking a record is what I like to call it. Well, it would have been nice if you'd have told me that. Oh, I'm sorry, I thought you knew. <laughs> you look great today, don't you worry about it. Here's the file. This, this original file, I'll just explain it. This original file was supposedly for a marijuana cigarette in 1998. And the police are claiming that that uh, that was a 30-day jail charge for whoever it was that violated it, right? That they spent 30 days in jail over a joint and then also had 60 more days of probation behind that. And then that that person waited 10 more years, 12 years, to violate that probation. And a judge woke up at 1.33 a.m. and decided, oh, I just remembered there was somebody that violated probation 13 years ago and put a warrant out on that person, right? And the reason I say that person is because they're saying it was me. I have never had any kind of drug or alcohol related charge ever, anywhere. So there's no way it was me. And the name was spelled incorrectly. It was not my name. The things that did match was my driver's license number and my date of birth. Everything else was not mine. Now, I think the reason they got that was because they ran my license plates, which gave them my driver's license number and my date of birth, the only two things they had correct. So I think the cop's just a idiot who decided to botch up this, his paperwork, and now he's got it all mixed up. Yeah, it was a retaliation effort by their part. Very first citation from 8 22 98. <laughs> Interesting.
Yeah. Oh, absolutely. I want a copy of everything. Okay. Yep. Do you, do you have a court? Do you know you have a court date? Monday. Yeah. Yeah. Of all this and I'll even make you a copy of this envelope. Thank you. And so this is it you, you, what you're saying? That's what I think. I mean, I'm thinking either it's not me or they made it up, the charges or something. Like, I don't know. Like, maybe back then they screwed up and, and put charges on the wrong person. You know, maybe they put me, but they have the wrong address is one of the big things. So maybe the person at that address might have been the real person and saying they were me. I don't know. And, but the spelling on my name is even wrong, so that's not good either. You know, it doesn't make sense either. Hello, how you doing? Uh, can I do my records request here? Do what? Are you the clerk for the jail? I need to do a records request. For who? For the jail. I need uh, records out of this building. For fingerprints from... Who are you with? I'm with me. I need my fingerprint records from... You're for a case. No, I'm here on my own legal matter. I need to get my, my record. Okay, let me get somebody. All right. <laughs> all right. Are you not used to doing records? Yeah. What is all... I'm taking a record of me getting my record. Okay, you're in a no cell phone zone. No, I'm not. It's just a sign. It's okay. Just I need my record. Just do that. What's your name, ma'am? Okay, what's your name? Your name and I'll sit down. Please, your name. Hello, how you doing? J-12 Medical. J-12 Medical. Yeah, it's in the front lobby. Y'all know this is the no-camera zone. No, it's not. Hey, look, look, look. You see that? What's that called? Oh, that's our camera. Yeah, it's called a camera. Yeah. I said, it, well, those are policies, and that's a violation of your policy if you can't have cameras in here. It's okay. We're not going to argue. I'm here to get my records. Yeah. Uh, okay. I can put my cell phone now. It's, it's a cell phone. Yeah, well, we got other cameras, too, but I'm I still, I need my cell phone. I'm taking a record of my legal matter. Look, I was Deal with it. 60 Days In was here. They put a full Did 60 Days In come to this facility? Yeah, they came in here. There was on the women's side. Can I do an interview with you? No. Okay, because 60 Days In has been part of the issue that, that I've been studying yeah. that put me in here in the first place. I don't know. I do. Yeah, so y'all are affiliated with Jamie Knoll, huh? Jamie Knoll. Have you ever heard of Jamie Knoll, the sheriff from Clark County, Indiana? No? Because mm, that's awful interesting. If he was a, He's the author of 60 Days In. Did you have fun during that? Or was it, was it kind of neat? I wasn't on it. You weren't here during the time? Damn. I bet you there was like a lot of hoopla during that time. No, no, you're recording me. It's good. They no, it's in, not. They went in. Now you're in public. They went in on the What's up, man? Sorry. How you doing, buddy? Um, I, need you guys to, I just need a records request. Come on. I need you guys to leave with your cameras. No, you don't. Yeah. Look, that'll get you really wrapped up in the lawsuit, bro. Yeah, okay. Name, guys, name. I'm, I'm going to ask you Name, guys badge number. No, 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 no. Hold on. You're going to listen. I'm going to ask you guys to You're going to listen. You're going to listen. I need my fingerprints. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, 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 hey. I need my fingerprints, yeah. man. I'm not breaking the law. I need my fingerprints to prove I wasn't supposed to be right, in here. So you can call up Deal here with it. That. No, I'm, I have to do it right here. That's my window. Sir, come on. You are going to be real famous okay. and in trouble. I'm asking you to leave. You're Don't touch me. Yes, Don't touch me. Don't touch me, man. My just my record. I need my fingerprint record. That's all I'm doing. Well, fingerprint record gets taken on the electronic stuff. So I know. I got to request it. Okay, just put it up for record request. Huh? Put it up for record. That's what I'm trying to do. Excuse me. Record request. Thank you. Yeah. What's he doing that for, man? I don't know. Yeah. They're trying to keep me from getting my record. What kind of record do you want? Just, just my fingerprint file and mugshot. Yeah. Recent violation was there anything for like uh, maybe the county attorney's office or something like that you can find? No, man, it's all supposed to be here. I need my fingerprints because it was from 1998. Hey, listen, and it's not Josh, much, you know? check this shit out. If I show the fingerprints from the original arrest, take mine and you got it. Well, I mean, Done deal. I need my fingerprints from that old. I need the fingerprints from the original case. Well, let me ask you this: what, what was the original charge? It was like a joint or something like that. I don't know. It's, a, it's on there. 1998. Yep. So I need the fingerprints this, this, of the person. They were put in here, here, right? Well, see, here's the thing. This, this is all we get is a probation violation. Back you don't take fingerprints here? No, no, no. Let's do this real quick. What I'm saying is, this is a probation violation for 1990. Did you get arrested in 98 on this charge? No, I didn't. Somebody's using Somebody my name. Somebody else did. Okay. Yeah, somebody got, got my ID back when you had a Social Security number on your ID. 
-hmm. And that's the only two points that the cop matched to say it was me this time. Okay. Social Security and my name. Okay. Um, so what I'm telling you is I need the fingerprints where that person was booked in here, and I'll be done. I don't Game know how over. I get it, be honest with you. Mugshot. Uh, well, I mean, that's what I'm saying. We can't find anything else. But you booked all. somebody. Well, that's what I'm saying. Back in 1998. You booked them, though. Well, if, if they'd been booked and stuff, you had the proper spell on them, a name. Still or took something their like picture, that. and then you. Uh, well, I mean, you didn't just go no, off names no, in 1998, bro. Don't fool me. No, no, listen, listen. We run this name right here. Mm -hmm. So we're coming, you can come up with a name of the actual, the actual charging document from back in 1998. Yeah, how it was spelled wrong? Yeah. Let's do that. Let's so, try that. Can, can you find it? Yeah, I got it. Yeah, see if you got that. Because if that's the case, we can look it up. I don't know about a fingerprint. Substance. Well, I need the fingerprint and booking. You know, that's what I need. Because I'll just show that to the judge and be cased over. Sure. And I'm so maybe they can track down something original. I don't know. But uh, as of right now, still, we don't have a... That is the original. It's a copy of the original right there. It ain't in there. What's I'm, missing, Josh? I know, but what I'm saying is, is that we don't have anything on our file where any arrest was made back in 1998. Let me tell you what's missing. I'm here again. Okay. What's missing is fingerprint file and the mugshot. Yep. But Why it, ain't there a booking photo? But it's showing there's nobody has ever booked in that time and that ate all that stuff. You know what that's. What do you mean? You're saying thing. this never happened? Well, saying back in 1998, there don't know if there was arrest ever made. I mean, the way it looked. It said 30 days, sir. So that's what I'm saying. But it says if someone down the line, there should be probation paperwork. It's probation violation. I got that. I'm saying. Yeah. No, I have that. I have that in there. No, no, no. The probation officer. Well, no, no. no. Probation yeah. officer. It's misdemeanor. So probation officer. If probation for misdemeanor charges were done to the district court. So the district court file should have everything, any kind of signed paperwork, anything like that. And they mm -hmm. should have it archived and stuff. But listen, he got arrested, okay? okay. Well, he also, if it's just a, if, if it's just a joint, it could have been cited too. They might not have been arrested. It says there was an arrest on the okay. paperwork, okay? In the probation okay. paperwork, okay. it also says he served 30 days and then got probated. Okay. Or he got a 30-day sentence and got out on bond and the rest stayed probation. Okay. Either way, well, there looks, was an well, arrest. It looks like in that paperwork, you can real quick, so. On that paperwork and stuff, on the E1, No, they did three three sessions and then missed the, the fourth. I think he was on drugs, so he didn't want to show up for his last day. Back at post four so that we can put in our complaints on John, Johnny Boy, and on uh, Mabe, Sergeant Mabe. So that's what we're doing. All right. We didn't know if the door was locked. What's up, sorry? I do. Yep. I'm not going back there unless you're going to give me permission to use the camera and bring my friends. Oh, yes, we are. I need a record. No, 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 sir. Don't leave. I need your help. I need your help, sir. What's your name, badge number? I need your help. I need to report a fraudulent activity as well. It's your jurisdiction. You need to do this. It's your jurisdiction. It's your jurisdiction. I'm sorry to know. I've got a person. is 114. I've got a person. Listen to me. I've got a person who is frauding my name. All right. I'm going to the feds. Fraud. No. Fraud. I need to report a fraud. Okay. I, look. I am willing to take your complaint. It's time to hang up. He's here. Okay. Well, why did you say you weren't? Because you're all getting... There's no reason to be afraid of You said you weren't going to help us. I'm not... No, no, no. I didn't say that. That's what you said. I want to hear the complaint. Okay. okay. Then we're, now we're talking. Okay. Let's but go But if talk. you go over here and sit here and try to be uncooperative... I'm not what? You were the one being... No, hold on. Hour. Let's Excuse That's me. The first thing out of your and mouth. No, no, no. No, excuse me. I was out on a complaint and taking care of an accident. So well, we appreciate that. Someone, okay? We appreciate yeah, that, but we're civilians as well. You can calm down. You're the one you calm with the down. gun, and you're... When you guys come down... I'm ready. I'm calm. Let's do it. There is a person who stole my identity Okay. back in 1998. Okay. It was an ID. Back then, you put your Social Security number on it. So what's happened is this guy is apparently a criminal. He's gone around getting in trouble. Okay. I am being charged now with his crimes. Okay. From 1998. All right. I've got lots of proof. Okay. Yep. Thanks to the help of you guys, because what your this agency did mm -hmm. the other day, made so it's going to go into a complaint now for your own people. Okay. And you have to be able to handle both, non-bias. Okay. Here's the thing. What I'm going to tell you. Mm -hmm. I, I need to know the complaint for one, and then two. What I'm going to tell you is if you got a formal complaint, you can contact, make your affidavit, 
write out your complaint, sign it. We'll do that. And then send it to internal affairs. So it's two parts. Frank, yeah, for, okay. for me and you now, these are two part process. One, I am filing a complaint, a report on fraud, on fraud. Okay. Okay. On an individual that I do not know who it is. Okay. Because he's now here's the thing. If you got a complaint versus fraud, I'll get a troop right here to take your complaint on. We'll do that afterwards case. then. Okay. So okay. You and me do the fraud? No, I'm not doing the fraud. I'll have a trooper come out here and take your fraud. Take the complaint. fraud complaint. Okay. So right now, now if you, you got, got a, if you complaint. got a complaint on a unit with two officers, this is what you need to do. You need to fill out your affidavit, sign it. Are you okay? Calm down. Sign it. We're good now. Okay. And you can either bring it here and we'll forward it to internal affairs. I understand that process. Or you can email it or not email. I'm sorry. You can mail it to Frankfurt Internal Affairs. Okay. All right. And now to go from there. I just want to make sure it's formal. You know what I'm saying? And that's the and formal. everybody that's, knows about it. That's the formal process. Okay. All right. Affidavit. But I can start it here with here, and then we can send it to Frankfurt. Affidavit. You sign it. Yep. And then it will go. You, then you will take it and send it to Internal Affairs in Frankfurt. We'll go from there. Okay. Sounds good. So um, do you want to get that process going? You got that, you, no, you, that, that, you need to. I want it. you all to take it. I want you all to take it because you're it's your people. Okay. I still want you to take it. Well, I mean, I'll take the complaint, but again, I will still need you to go to Follow make up. a formal complaint. Okay. And sign it. Okay. And take it. Okay. So, what is your complaint? My complaint is. Okay. Hold. On. What's your name? Chris. Just Chris Christopher. This Chris Ryder, you can put my last name. Yep. I normally wouldn't give you that, but y'all already did enough. You're going to know it anyway. Well, I, I, mean, I shouldn't have to I, give it for a complaint on one of your officers, but go ahead. Well, I got to have a complaint. Yeah. If, you, if you're going to make the a complaint, complaint you're going to be there. To, dude, we're, not, here's the thing. we're not going to argue about apples. Well, and this is what I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. What you're going to tell me, you're going to go make a formal complaint. Oh, yeah. I'm going to the feds and everything. On an affidavit. And a lawsuit. Okay. Sign that and then send it here. Or send it I don't to, have to sign to, it, but I will. I don't have to, though. Stop telling okay. people to do that. Don't scare people into not being able to tell you what's going on. I'm not telling you. You can tell me what's going on. Well, I'm trying. Okay. Last time I tried, I was here for that. I was filing a complaint on Adam's signature first. Okay. Who's no. who's the complaint on? I'm going to be complaining on this one. And who's it on? No, 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 no. Who are you complaining? May. Sergeant Jeremy, May. Jeremy May. Yep. And the other one is going to be John. Is it Gold? Gold? Uh, Burrow? Battle Training Road. Uh, and what's the nature of the complaint? I came here to file a complaint on Adam Sandage with the father of a guy that got beat up by Adam. Okay. Okay. Both of us were trying to pretty much file the complaint on the same situation from our different perspectives. They allowed us to fill it out, but they spent 45 minutes refusing to give us the forms to do it. Well, we don't have forms. Yeah, you do. I got one. I mean, if you got one, I don't I have a form. I, I don't did. have I don't I'm telling you form. about how it went, okay? okay. I, I filled out their form. forms. They got them for us. They printed them out, just like you're supposed to, according to Open Kentucky Records Act. So they printed them out. They brought them out here. We got the forms. Finally, after 45 minutes of them trying to get our names, which you're trying to do too, you guys got to learn to quit doing that. And we filled them out. And the whole time they kept doing things like trying to get my paperwork, my documentation, stuff like that, right? I just said, guys, this is not what I'm trying to hand you. That's my notes, you know? Like, like stop trying to dig on me. Mm -hmm. Well, what they had done was they had gone out to the, they went and used your surveillance footage in the parking lot. They got my tag information while I'm trying to file a complaint. That's all I was doing. They went back there and ran an extensive search on me. To find out who I am, me and Joe. Good. Violation of fourth on that, right? Because why would you need to do an investigation on people just because they're trying to report one of your officers for misconduct? Okay. All right? So they went through all that trouble. Then they came out here and said, you have a warrant, put your hands behind your back. I'm here to help you guys. I'm here to help you guys weed out the bad apples. Okay. And they're arresting me now, and I'm going, why? Well, they arrested you for a warrant. They said that, well, yeah, but hold on. Okay. First of all, I, that's why I got to report the fraud because it wasn't mine. Okay. I've never been arrested for that, ever. Never been charged with marijuana, ever in my life, 
right? So where's and, the warning? Oh, well, anyway, okay. So you, you got, last time you were here. They said there was a you, probation violation and a citation warrant. Okay. You had a warrant for you. you got, well, unfortunately, if you have a warrant, I mean, it, it, it gets, let's get it gets worked that. out. So let's get, let's it'll get, get worked out because I'm going to take major legal action. Okay. Right? On everybody. Everybody. Okay. And and I have a right to, you know what I'm okay. saying? Yeah, you do. So, so here's the thing. For today? They should not have been investigating me okay. because what I was trying to do is what this door should be a revolving open process for any scared individual out there. We should make that door the most polite and receptive. This should be the safest place in Kentucky to come to when it you're is. scared. It's the same excuse way. me, excuse me. He's giving me his complaint, so you guys don't say anything. They're angry or, too. Or I'm going to ask you to leave. They're angry too. But, you can't make hey, them leave. I, I, look, I can make them leave. How? Because I asked them to leave. And if they don't leave, then it's Who do you us. think you are? This is our building, bro. Stop it. Okay. Just stop. Look, are you wanting to make a complaint? Yes, I'm doing it. Then you make the complaint. Don't threaten my friends. Y'all need to leave. No, we don't. You can't make us leave here. We won't. Hey, what else you got on that TV? You got any popcorn back here? Because I'll stay here all damn night. 24 hour facility. You can't. Dude, let me put my complaint in on your officers. Then you, go, then you make your complaint. Then let me. You guys don't say anything. I'm not interviewing you right now. All right, you guys can say whatever you have to right after me. How's that? You got a complaint. Yep, let's finish. Let's go. It. So here they did. What they did was they abused their positions and abused the. The so stuff that who, you have available to your to your agency. Okay, so who to who, investigate who, who, me unlawfully? John, that would be John and, and May. And Trooper, I'm sorry, May. Yep, those two, and and they did it in a conspiracy effort together. So I'll report that one to the feds. Okay. Now, what they did was they ran and got my Indiana license tag identification mm -hmm. to the car. It wasn't in the car. Okay. Okay. I was here in this lobby. So they used my car to attach it to my name. The only thing that ran back, and I know this because they had a recording of John bragging to the COs about how he hemmed me up. Mm -hmm. Very immature, mm -hmm. very unprofessional. You don't go in and brag to the kids about how you locked up the guy that's known for activism. That's what he was doing, bragging. Mm -hmm. He said, I got him. Here's how we did it. Me and Mabe, right? Mm -hmm. We. We're doing this and that and the other to run to find out who the son of a bitch was. That's what they were doing. They were working on their, their asses off, abusing the shit that I pay for to try to figure out how they were going to hem me up. Mm -hmm. And they came up with this warrant, supposedly alleged still, because we went to court over it today, so it's still alleged. I don't even know if the warrant was ever real in the first place at this point. Not really. I assume the only way if I'm trusting police is that it was a real warrant and that it's fraud. Okay. Again, we're going back to the warrant. Yeah, we're going to bring it back because okay. I'm going to this. So, the thing is, is the citation of the warrant when you were released should have been, you should have been provided that copy. I got as it. Well. Okay. Right. So then, and it's got a bunch warrant. of the stuff that don't make sense okay. with it. For one, if you arrest somebody, right? If you arrest somebody with charge, they book them, right? Mm -hmm. No booking papers in this. That's no booking papers in this file. What you get from us is that uh, we print out the warrant. Mm -hmm. And we pronounce the citation. Okay. That is what's turned into. You know jail. what? Let's not get carried so, off onto the other subjects. Right. So let's, let's do let's it like on this. Going down with All right. So they said that I had a warrant and then handcuffed me. Mm -hmm. Okay. John handcuffed me. Then I told him I do not consent to any search, which they had already done. They'd already searched. Search what? All my identification information. I have a right to my person, mm -hmm. my privacy. They went through my car. You know what they did first? They went through my license plates and all that stuff with no reason. That is a little bit of a violation, but maybe you could get by with that. Maybe. But so they, did they search inside your car? Get to it. Get into okay. it. Okay. He put me in handcuffs without cause. Mm -hmm. He said he had a warrant, but guess, get this. It wasn't my name. Okay. The warrant wasn't in your name? Nope. The warrant was not in my spelling of my name. Okay. In other words, it was misspelled. But... That was all he had. And the only reason he got my spelling of my name, the real one, didn't match the one he had, is because he cheated and ran my license plate to get my name spelling. Okay. And it wasn't the same spelling as what he had in his hand in that warrant.
That's the question. Well, that's the big shiny golden egg question. Okay. What the officer happening? seems to be confused as to yeah. what a complaint the is. Was the address was different. The name was spelled different. The only thing they had was a driver's license number that matched. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the driver's license. So license number is what was matching. That's it. That's what the name didn't match. Address didn't match. License number did match. That's all they had. Now, how do you get the license number? Well, I'll tell you how. You stuck me in fucking handcuffs and you get in my pocket and you took my wallet. That's how you got the license number. Right. And then they took the car keys. As if it wasn't bad enough. I took my car keys and my friend, diabetic, missing limbs, needed to ride back home and went with me. They rode with me because we trusted you guys. And we trusted this agency to allow us to make a formal report because there's a Fed investigation. I think it would be good for them to have all the paper trail. Okay. He did too. He said, I still didn't put in the, the proper appearance. I said, oh, come on, let's go, let's do it. They're not gonna hurt us. Okay. So we got here and we told it that, what I'm telling you about. Now, it's worse. So I have my car keys, which I did not give them consent to reach my fucking pockets, okay? I don't want nobody reaching my pockets. Even my girlfriend doesn't even reach my pockets. We're, we're respectful of each other. He reached in my pocket, he pulled the car key out, and he says, how's he gonna get home? I said, you're gonna give him my car keys. He can drive. He's disabled, but he can drive. I said, can you drive, Joey? He said, yeah, I can drive. And I said, okay, buddy, just give him the keys, because I'm in handcuffs, I can't give them to him. I said, just give him the keys. He said, okay. So they acted like they was gonna do it, right? They gave him the keys, and the man's missing fingers from his diabetes. May waited until John had me out that door, and he yanked me out of that door. He hurt my arm. Hmm. He yanked me out of that door. And then May, I got a recording of it. May turns to Joe and says, I'm gonna take those car keys back. He's whispered so I can hear him. He said, we're gonna go ahead and impound the car. From a public parking lot during business hours with two licensed drivers and her on the way? No, sir. Okay. Big violation right there, right down with them. So they took my car, they stole it. And I am told- So they basically impounded your car? They stole it, yeah. That's theft. In our world, that's He theft. seems to be confused on what, what theft it, and theft. impound is. So they took my car and then they ransacked it. Everything. Glove box and, and console is nothing compared to what they did in my trunk. They stole paint in my trunk. They destroyed all the organization I had of every single tool. They went in every single toolbox, went through every single category of where all my nuts and bolts are for my toolkit, for my work. They moved every single thing, opened up every single thing there was in my entire vehicle from floor to the ceiling. Mm -hmm. Then they had the tow truck company park wrecked vehicles as close to my car, all the way to touching the vehicle, all the way around, all four sides, while I was in jail. So the next day, what I had to do was get out, of course, right? We got out and they couldn't even get the warrant to work because it was outdated so bad mm -hmm. it didn't even have the right case number okay. the case number was altered okay yeah the case number was altered so after all this i finally get out 24 hours later through 23 hours right and i come straight here because i wanted to file a complaint and i want the footage from the back seat of that car because he hurt my arm so i want to prove it i want the footage and okay. and I was going on that on that you have to go open Frankfurt. I just realized that and I will. But I came here though because I needed the answer to what needed to be done. Mm -hmm. And you know what they did? Started doing the whole same thing in the US. We all three got scared and left because we felt so scared that they were trying to do it again. They weren't helping us. They were just looking at our plates and and scaring us. Going back there in that office to figure <laughs> out what they're going to do to him. So next, it was an exact replay of what happened when we came here to ask for those beer reforms the first time. So mm -hmm. my girlfriend and I, we got scared of you guys. And we left and we went to get my car. And I had to pay, what, 300 some dollars to get my car, you know? And why Why should I have to go through all that just to come here to file a report on that percentage? Or I'm sorry, file a grievance on that percentage. I believe that it was 233 plus tax. Okay. But I also had the hundred and some dollars that I had to pay for spending the night in jail. Yes. First hotel I've ever been to. Um, but I have a recording that I'll give you 
But uh, no, I want any report. Why not? Because uh, here's because here's the thing. Okay. This is the process in which you need to go to. Mm -hmm. If you got the, the recordings and all that stuff, yeah. I want you to do your formal complaint, mm -hmm. and I want you to send that to Internal Affairs. Okay. okay. Yeah. That way, there's no question that Internal Affairs gets it, and your your questions are answered, and everything else. I just want to make sure you guys start doing stuff about it here. Okay. Well, yeah, here's the thing. Yeah. This is the first time hearing about it, so. I will, I will do this. But here's the thing. In order to make a formal request, okay, you need to fill it out, sign it, and send it to internal affairs. Yeah, it's not telling people to sign complaints. You no, look, you okay, don't sign tell them to sign complaints. Look, read the law. You do it how you want to do it. No, no, read the law. Don't you tell them what they have to do. Don't tell me. I'm telling you I'm telling the, the process. You asked me the process. Officer starting to get aggressive again. You're wearing a gun. So, you're a big guy. So, if you, you don't have to look, look, when you yell at people, do you like being in control of the conversation? And now, the same thing. You know, now, now he's like, walking off. I'm telling you, if you don't want to sign it, don't sign it. Okay. Just send it to Internal Affairs. Okay. Okay. Yep. Your choice. All right. Well, if I don't sign it, it doesn't mean you all still shouldn't accept it and go through the procedures with it. That will be Internal Affairs' decision. If they deny me because I don't put my name on it, I guess that's what I do is lawsuit. Right? Yeah. But I can also do it on this agency if they're violating my rights. Okay. I mean, it, you have that right to do what you need to do. Oh, I'm suing you guys. Okay. That's okay. already started. So, the thing is, if you want to make a formal complaint, whether you want to sign it or not, that's up to you. Mm -hmm. Okay? Then send it to our internal affairs. Okay? I'll do that, but I also want you to do your process in the house. Yeah. On these guys. Yeah. And look, since you're taking this one so well, if you're doing better than they did, you're not putting any handcuffs right now, you're not bringing taking my car, you're doing better than them already. I guess you got look, look, no, no, there's no congratulations. I'm just telling you. job. Okay, I'm, I'm listening to your complaint. The other thing is, I came here because Adam, Adam Sandage beat the living shit out of my buddy's kid because he fled, but he wasn't resisting. Okay, uh, now I'm not getting into, into that. If you want to file a complaint on that as well. I did. I don't know if it went anywhere. So what I'm going to tell you is, I felt Phil going out here mm -hmm. on the form. I don't trust that Maeve did the right thing with it. So I'm asking you, can you take over what Maeve did God? When you talk to Maeve, say, hey, give me that complaint so that I can push it. I, I'll it. tell you what. I, I'm not even covering the, the, that, that incident, okay? Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's already been dealt with. What do you mean it's been dealt with? Does Adam Sanders still work here? Okay. <laughs> Yes or no? <laughs> yeah, he is. It ain't that good. Okay, okay. Be in prison. You know what? Then that's what y'all need to go, go to. Okay. What are we going to do? Now, give me a badge. I'll go lock him up right now. So, so, yeah. so, let's do it. So, assault. Again, bingo. If you want to go and file a formal complaint, mm -hmm. I, I gave you that. I know the other thing. Yeah. I know how to, how to do it. Right? right? Mm -hmm. If you want to sign it, don't sign it. That's up to you. Right. Okay? Yeah. So, I'm going to sign one for me now. After everything, because y'all done got my name. But you shouldn't force people to do that. You ought to make that door safe. People should feel safe okay. coming in here to talk to a supervisor. When they got so, a, if you got a cop that's so after you, you want to go get a formal Officer starting to get hostile I'll again. Do that on that, but I'm, I'm trusting that you'll realize that in these recordings, we have a record that you took this tonight. I'm expecting you to be a good person in supervisor position to start making changes in this department. Okay. And I'm telling you, as a supervisor, if you want to make a formal complaint, I need that knowledge to Yes, but I'm, that's okay. a different thing. So I'm asking so, something of you, you can answer. Now, do you still, where did this fraud, the fraud complaint take It would have been racked up in Okay, so you will need to go to RPD and file a criminal complaint. It's a felony. It's, yeah, well, it, it, felony. it is a felony. Mm -hmm. But uh, did it happen in Rackham? I guess, I don't know, it's fraud, it's all so my identity. Uh, I got it. But where he's done my credit, he's okay. done my legal history. But here's what I need to establish. Okay. Where did it take place? Well, it would have taken place if, if you tell at Hardin County Detention Center. Which, to the best of my knowledge, that would have been the first for sure place that I know that he did it. He was being detained, mm -hmm. used my ID. But where, okay, but where did he do that at? In Radcliffe, where is Hardin County Detention Center? Well, I mean, he if he was arrested 
And what he he did it during booking. He used my ID for his booking. Okay. But see, here's the thing. That's what I'm telling you. If he was arrested outside the Hardin County Detention Center, then he used you his provided your information. The, the house was uh, 137 Morgan Lock something. I don't know. 146, I think. Radcliffe? Yeah. Radcliffe? Yeah. Okay. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Radcliffe has their police department. You're not under their it, jurisdiction? It's, it's, no, they're in their jurisdiction. So you're saying yeah. I got so to go to the city PD? You got to go to them. Okay. Now, if they don't want to do it or they fail to do it, they'll come to you. Okay. okay. But right now, it's the same thing if it happened in E Town, mm -hmm. you'd have to go to EPD. Well, I didn't know you'd start with the city department over a, a felony. <laughs> You know, they fell these felonies wherever they happen. Yeah, but it's within the jurisdiction. But it's within the jurisdiction. Yeah. But it's within the jurisdiction in which the crime took place. I just thought I'd skip them having to reach out to you because that's what they gotta do. They're gonna have to assign a state officer to get the jurisdiction on it. So well, no, well, they'll, they'll run there. They got their own detectives. Do they have a fog department? Yes. Yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah, they got their detectives and everything else. Are they too. good? Pretty good department of detectives? Yeah. Okay. I'm really good at I would be a good cop. Mm -hmm. So I kind of understand. I've, so, I've studied the insides and outs of what they did. So if, if it happened, if the crime took place in Radcliffe, mm -hmm. stop there, okay, well, fill out your complaint. If they don't want to take it or they don't do it, come back here. I would. Okay. All right. I think they want to complain a little bit since you got good here. Would you like to go ahead and go first? No, I have some technical difficulties here. If it ain't going to be on video, it ain't worth my time. Uh, I'm sure um, you up. Uh, it's pretty clear you're, 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 I mean, tyrant, right? Uh, okay. To tell me uh, I can't film in a public place. All right. It's, it's we're all getting negative. Uh, you know, if we're getting negative. I didn't call you names. I didn't call you names. Did I? No. Just, so don't call me. No, you're telling me I can't talk. No, 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 no. I can't film. Did I call, call you call names? Call him. Well, you just call me a tyrant. Well, that's not a name, that's a thing. Oh, there's that's a more than that The name would be like calling you a pussy cop. If you, cop, if you, right? if you right? want something, or you want to say something, I will take your complaint. Okay? If not, you have to take the good news. You don't want to. You want to make a complaint. Yes, um, my complaint's going to be quite similar to his as far as his arrest. I was witness to it because I watched it all on video. Okay. One thing that he, well, a couple of things that he didn't throw in is that the arresting officer turned his phone off. Yep. Turned his phone off. Shut my recording devices off. Okay. Took his recording device off of him. When I did not give consent. Right. What's your, your first name? Tiffany. Don't cover your lens on. It's not. Okay, so you're saying that the trooper turned off his cell or his video device. Yeah, add yes. that to my complaint too, please. Okay. Got into his pockets to remove his personal effects without permission. Against the oh, Okay. At that point in time, was he told he was under arrest? Yes, but okay. I was not given any probable cause or something. And he hadn't been. Over and let, 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 stop. Stop right there. If he's under arrest, they're going to search him. Okay. Well, a lawful arrest is only initiated after someone's okay. read their well, Miranda rights. The it had not happened. It had not occurred. Okay. If you guys are saying it's unlawful, then you need to fill out that complaint. Okay. okay. Well, I'm just telling you so you can put it in yeah, my well, complaint. I'm going to put it down. Okay. But what I'm telling you, once he's under arrest and handcuffs, he will be searched. Yeah. Whether you want to say it's unlawful or it, not unlawful, it, that it, go, it falls to the part where they did it wrong and they know it, which is going to be that they didn't have a matching name, matching identification to what they were saying. They arrested me without knowing who it was. Okay. Um, my other complaint is law enforcement abusing their power by running a tag search on a citizen who has no probable cause of committing a crime is not being detained for any reason and is only here doing a citizen's right to file a complaint. Yeah, and um, you can do a BMV run on someone, but whenever you go into looking into their criminal background, that is the violation. That is the civil rights violation. That is abuse of power. It's also abuse of the actual equipment. They're not allowed to do that. You're not allowed to run. Let's say you see a pretty girl drive by, 
and you want to know where she lives. You can't use your system to run that. Um, on that one, I think that's about it. Now, with me, as far as whenever I called to do my process, I was doing, you know, verbal because I was trying to get him out of jail. Um, officers refused to identify. They refused to give me the information. Did you call? I called. I called the day after your arrest. So. What day was that? Third. The third of what? January. This year. Yeah. Yeah, the rest so you call the arrest was on the third. The arrest was on the second. On the second. But I spent the time, so she's both. Well, no, no, no. You were arrested on the second. Mm -hmm. You called on the third. Yes. Staff hung up on me. Um, they told me, how would I put that? What did, what, how would you put that? What they told me? How much call? Oh, I'll add that into my written complaint. They refused to assist her though. Yeah, they, they refused do. every way possible. Um, they didn't respond to several of my questions. They said they would get back with me on. I asked them to reimburse us for the tow charge because it was towed unlawfully. Yes, sir, it was. Oh, okay, well, and again, this is what we'll tell you. I understand what you're telling that, me, but that, I... If you want to recover that... Well, that's fine. You're going to have to do a lawsuit. Okay? That's I, fine. I, that's I, fine. I can you know what, at that. this, while I'm thinking about it, we were told, now I want you to look into it on your footage, and I want to copy this footage. So I'm, yes, sir. I'll request it, so don't make sure nothing happens to it. I want the footage of the building facing the parking lot on my vehicle that entire time. I've already told them not to do nothing with it that I'm requesting it. But I was told by a very credible source that the officer drove my car instead of it going on the road back. Okay. All right, so same thing. And I don't know open record for question. I will. And they supposed that you drove your car. Yeah, but it wasn't it wasn't John because he had me. Me and him were together. Mm -hmm. So it was either another person came out and drove my car or Babe. And that's according to my source. Okay, the person that said they were here long enough to see what happened to the car did not see a rollback come before the car was gone. So the car disappeared without a tow truck. Um, it was Officer Mabe, right? That took Mabe the that took, he took the he took the keys from Joe, right? Yes. So Mabe's he he keys. took Mabe's keys, Mabe's. keys Chris's possession after Chris had already handed it to his friend, give his his friend permission to drive his vehicle home. Mabe literally snagged it through yes. his fingers that are missing because he's diabetic. He grabbed it physically and yanked him out of his hand. That's a tyrant. So it does. Since you are state police, can I put a complaint in with you for Hardin County detention? No, no. You, you like to we gotta go there. Well, it was a broad okay. stretch, but, but that's yeah, all I have off the top of my head Hardin here. Hardin County Detention Center, you'll need to go to the Department of Corrections. Yeah, the guy I we'll talked to today and didn't have time to do that. So we can go through him. We gotta go back to him. Okay, uh, well, that's why we didn't get that process done today. Yeah. Right. So there will be more. There will be plenty more. I just can't think of it off the top of my head. Yeah, we waited no, I, five minutes for you. I well, understand. I'm glad you, I'm I'm glad glad you serviced that person, by the way. Um, unfortunately, as we understand what's coming down here, get it. We, hey, look, man, we just said, seven, seven you know what so Well, we, we do right. truly and appreciate you so, taking care of. Again, I mean, I, I'll take a look into this, but. For stuff to happen, you need to do that. Oh, I'll follow the law with her. Okay. Yep. Now, and I start where it's fair, okay. and I work my way through all the way. Now, the like I said, and this is up to you whether you do it or not. Make your formal complaint, sign it, send it to her internal affairs. Come on. Recordings or anything else that you want to add to that, with it. Just put it in there. You got to send it. Now, again, if you don't want to sign it, your I will this time. Okay. Will and this then time. lastly, with you, I'm a mom. I've got two kiddos. 
And I was raised that you can always trust law enforcement. They're always going to be kind. They're always going to do what's within your best interest. Unfortunately, with my personal experience, that's not the case anymore. And I've had to teach my children differently. I've had to teach them that law enforcement is kind of like going up to a puppy. You don't know if it's going to bite you or lick you. You have to sort of gauge that once you get close. I would appreciate it if you, yourself, sir, specifically, would not behave the way you behaved with us. Okay. It, okay. Again, here's the, here's the thing. Okay. How long have you been doing this, 114? Is that a fair question? Okay. My demeanor is going to be based on your all's demeanor. Okay. You so read the cameras, it wasn't us. So okay. yeah, here's the thing. Well, not exactly, but we'll, we'll move past Can you that. Say okay. that one more time. We'll, we'll move past that, okay? So, okay. got it. Would you please repeat that one more time? Um. And sure. another thing well, is, is whenever he head. said tyrant. <laughs> this officer did not like Ty. What you're about to see is a lunge that was actually very threatening in the moment. It, it's 114. Hey, 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 it's hey. 114. I don't. Open. I realized the position that my friend Jim City was in and quickly went into a de-escalation mode and offered to use a distraction. You'll hear it here. It, it is hard to pronounce, like, oh, oh, it's like the, um, I get it, O-U-G-H. When I you are it. on the clock under the color of law, okay. your feelings, okay. your feelings, okay. well, I'm talking about you. These are things that I would like to you, for you to work on just for you, you know, to be a better you, you know, be a better law enforcement officer and do better in your duties that we, the people, pay you to do. You are not allowed to enact upon your feelings while you are on the clock under the color of law. We prefer you to be okay. open armed and allowing people to come in and make complaints. Okay. As far as your identity theft complaint, I'll take it to Radcliffe. Go to Radcliffe. If they don't want to help you there or they can't do it, come here. Okay. okay? I will. If we have any more on the complaint issues, will you no. please go home and think about you us? You guys have a good. Okay. Will you please go home and think about I'm us? really interested in how long you've been doing this. I've been doing this for 15 years. Okay. And okay. and and how does it make you feel? Okay. That now you're the bad guy. Why is it so bad? In society, you're the bad guy. Okay. You're the guy that can't be trusted. To talk to y'all. you have a good evening. Have a safe trip. Home. Well, thanks for taking the complaint. I wish you'd learned a life lesson as well. Be better, do I better, and work on those feelings. That. His demeanor depends on what my demeanor is. Right? You can slow down. We're not going to hurt you. These cameras don't buy. I'm going to get no closer to you. I'm going to my local congressman. Forced retirement's in your future, tyrant. And we're getting pulled over for nothing by an Indiana state cop. All fans, don't shoot. What's up, Chris? What's up, man? Go ahead and hop out. You got a warrant. For what? For what? I'll tell you when you get out. Go ahead no, and you can tell us right now. For what? Inside of me County. Go ahead and hop For out. For what? Don't, don't reach in our car. Come out, Chris. For Boy. what? I'll show you in a second. Oh. You can record. Just stay in the car, man. How about you don't worry about what Go I'm on. doing? I haven't done anything. I know for what though? what to do. That's what I highly recommend of you right now. Big 
Fig Newton? Oh, what's your badge number, Newton? 